Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to convert assembly language program to object program in SIC machine. This is the solved example number 2. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. The same uh, assembly language program I have represented in the form of columns. I have added two more columns. The first column is location counter and the last column is object code in this case. So what is the first thing I supposed to do is uh, I have to represent uh, or I have to write the location counter for each and every instruction and then I have to write the object code. Finally, I need to write the object program over here. Now, uh, the first instruction we will see here. The first instruction uh, object of code is uh, start. The meaning of this one is uh, this is the static instruction. This is the name of the program and this is the starting address over here. Now we need to see which is the first instruction uh, to be executed that we can get with the help of this end uh, assembler directives. The operand value is uh, first here. The meaning is this is the first executable instruction in this case. So 3000 is assigned to this particular uh, first year. Next what I supposed to do is I have to assign the location counter for the remaining instructions. Now from here LDX, LDA, add, TIX, JLT, STA and R sub are uh, present in op tab and the size of this particular instruction is 3 bytes in SIC. So I will go on adding 3 to this one so that I will get the values over here. For example, the next instruction is present at uh, 303, the next one is present at 306 and so on. And once you come to this part, I think we should be a bit careful so that we can assign the location counters. So I have done it here. So first one is uh, 3000, second one is 3003, 3006. Uh, the next one is uh, 3009. After 9, uh, we will get A here and then B. The next one will be C here. After C, we will get D and then E. The next one will be F here. After F, we will get 10 and then 11. The next one is 12 here and 12, 13, 14. The next one is 15. So, till here, there is no question. But this instruction needs how many bytes we have to check because we are using assembler directives from here onwards. Word needs uh, 3 bytes because it's we are creating the integer constant. The value is 3 here. So I will add 3 to this one. I will get 3018 here. There is no question about it. So that is plus 3. But when it comes to this one, we are reserving 100 uh, words here. That is nothing but 300 bytes. 300 bytes is equivalent to I think uh, 1 to C in terms of uh, what we can say that uh, hexadecimal 1 to C here hexadecimal so we have to add 1 to C to this particular thing so that I will get 3144 here similarly uh, we are reserving 20 words here which is nothing but 60 bytes so we have to convert this thing into hexadecimal and then add it so that I will get this particular next location counter. The next one is word. It means uh, we have to add three here. Again, we are reserving uh, uh, words here, but how many words we are reserving? One word here. So I will add three so that I will get the next one here. So this is how we can assign the uh, location counters. Coming back to the next one, we need to write this particular object code here. So I will discuss uh, that particular part here. Now, if you want to write an object code, the very first thing we need to see is the op code. If it is uh, present in the op type, we need to get the value. The values are already given here. The value of LDX is 04. I will write that particular LDX in the first 8 bits of this particular instruction. Next bit is uh, whether it is an index addressing mode or a direct addressing mode. And then remaining 15 bits are uh, for what you can say index addressing mode. So I will write that particular thing here. So first 8 bits are for op code. 1 bit for index addressing mode or what the next 15 bits are for address here okay so 8 bits i have written here 04 the next uh, bit uh, the value of x is equal to 0 means it is direct addressing mode 1 means indirect addressing mode if the x is present in the operand field the meaning it is uh, index addressing mode here we don't have x the meaning is just direct addressing mode so we will put 0 here so remaining 15 bits are address so address of this operand that is 0 where it is present 3180 so I will write it as it is here. Now coming back to LDA3 the LDA value is equal to 00, 0. I will write it here again it is uh, the direct addressing mode so x value is 0 
3 is present where 3 is present here so I will write it here now coming back to table comma x uh, because x is present here the value will become 1 here uh, first of all uh, the add instruction add is nothing but 18 so 18 can be written something like this 0 0 0 1 uh, 1 0 0 0 here and then uh, remaining I will write it here the next bit is 1 because it's an index addressing mode remaining 15 bits are the address address of table what is the address of table here 3018 so this one will be represented with 3 bits all 3 are represented with 4 4 bits so 3 means 0 1 1 uh, 0 means 0 0 0 0 1 means 0 0 uh, 0 1 and then 8 means 1 triple 0 here so if I write it properly it will become 1 this will become 8 this will become uh, 8 plus 3 I think 11 11 is nothing but B this is 0 this is 1 and this is 8 here so that is what I have written 1 8 B 0 1 8 here Coming back to TIX, the value of TIX is uh, 2C, that is what I have written here. Count address is uh, 3144, I have written it as it is because it is a direct addressing mode. The same thing goes with these two also. Coming back to this one, that's a R sub, the value of R sub is uh, 4C. It does not have any operand field, that is the reason the address is written as 00, 00 here. Now coming back to these things, uh, we are uh, creating an, integ an integer constant of forward size. So we have written that particular 3 directly, it does not have any address here. These two are reserving uh, some memory locations, because of that we don't have any uh, what we can say that the object code. We are creating an integer constant, the constant is 0, so that is what I have written here. Again I am reserving something, so there is nothing called as object code over here. Now uh, we will start writing the object program. Uh, object program has its own format it has uh, one head section and uh, one end section in between we can have multiple number of uh, text uh, records here so head it contains uh, the 19 columns first column is H second uh, to seventh column is program name next we need to write the starting address and the length of the program here so the same thing I have written here H the name of the program starting address and then the length of the program so this is a starting address length if you want 3186 minus 3000 and then the name of the program is sum here. Coming back to text, text contains uh, uh, 69 column, first column is T, 2 to 7 is uh, starting address, 8 and 9 are the length of the program, 10 to 69 is nothing but uh, uh, you can say that uh, the object code that is uh, 60 columns here. So 60 columns means the maximum we can write 10 object codes here. So here I have written T, starting address of the text record, this I will discuss later, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 object code I have written, uh, starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 object codes. 8 object codes require uh, 48 columns because one object code requires 6 columns, uh, you can say that columns, and 2 columns is equivalent to uh, 1 byte. So total number of columns are 48 hence uh, 24 bytes are required. So 24 byte is nothing but 18 in hexadecimal. So that is what I have written here. Similarly we have few more text record remaining. This is the one more text record remaining. The starting address is 3180. So T003180. This is the only text uh, object code here. Object code contains 6 columns means uh, 3 bytes. Finally we have written end record. This is the starting address of the uh, executable instruction. You can see here E, address of the first executable instruction that is 003000 in this case. This is a very simple way of uh, converting an object uh, assembly language program into object program in SIC machine. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.